Hey there. Let's talk more about streamers on the monorig. Last time we went over leader, composition, and design. This time we're going to talk about casting. Uh, last time was about the advantages of fishing streamers on the monorig. The real advantage always comes down to contact. It's a tight line system, so we're in touch with these flies and we can control them at any moment throughout the drift. But it's also a contact casting system. So we're in touch with the fly all the way through the cast. And that's an important concept. Let me show you what I mean. So here's what I mean by casting with contact. For those flies to go anywhere, I need to first feel them on my rod tip. I need to feel the load of those flies on my rod tip and then go. Again, I'm gonna strip in until I feel the load of those flies on my rod tip and then I go. So let me show you what I mean by this load on the rod tip. Right here, you can see, watch the rod. You can see it's not loaded. If I strip in, right there's my contact with the fly, and once I have it, I can make my cast. Let's do it again. There, there's slack, I'm not loaded. There's the load on the rod tip, and now I can make my cast. Now here's what happens, I got about 20, 25 feet of line out. Here's what happens if I don't feel the load on my rod tip. I can't cast anywhere. If that was a fly line, I could roll it. I could roll cast that out. You don't have that with this mono rig. Even this mono rig built for casting, I still need to feel that contact on my rod tip and then go. So if I'm here with this slack again and I try to go, nothing happens. But what I like to do is strip through, strip through, there's my contact and then I can go. And you'll see on that last one I made a circle. I made a circle to make my cast. Let's talk more about what a circle cast is. So my standard cast with these streamers on a mono rig is what I call a circle cast. Once I have that contact, I come around in a circle and finish to my target. I can cast in any direction. That circle can go in any direction. You could call it an oval cast. I tend to think of it as a circle because once I pick up, once I'm stripping through here, stripping through, I complete that circle and come around. So to make these circle casts work, you need speed in the cast. Speed all the way through the circle. With that speed, I can change my direction at any moment from cast to cast by keeping the speed in there. I also like to open up the arm angle a lot. The way I cast nymphs on a tight line is very much like this. Elbow stays tucked in. I'm 10 o'clock, 2 o'clock, good crisp stops, lots of speed between two points. Now I still want that speed, but now I'm making a circle and opening up the arm angle a little bit. Instead of being right here, back, stop, forward, stop, I'll open up this arm a little bit and it allows me to change the directions and come around in a circle at any range, at any angle. So the last thing about this circle cast is that there's a pause on the back end. As I come around, I find a place to pause. That really loads the rod and gives me more power coming forward. It's much more natural. With that power, I can get things to turn over on that forward cast. Line turns over, the flies hit first, and I can put the tippet really wherever I want it. So that's the circle cast. And now, let's talk about stripping. So stripping line is important anytime you're fishing streamers. You can do, uh, you can, you can do presentations where you, you're not needing to strip. But for a lot of variations, ways we want to present the flies, you need a good strip. I like to come through my trigger finger and use my line hand. You notice how I'm shooting it back out. I'm handing it off to my line hand here, and then it's right back under my trigger finger, ready to go. So single and double hauls are things that are just kind of happen naturally for you the more you fish this rig, especially if you do it at distance. You can see I'm just doing short single hauls, especially right there on that back cast. Really helps just load the rod a little bit more, give you a little bit more power and keep that turnover in your game. You can also water haul to load the rod for you. Down there, I have contact, the rod's loaded and I can come forward. I don't use it that often. I'd rather cast, make these big circles and change directions that way. So we went over the important elements of a circle cast and now let me show you what I call a pendulum cast. I don't have back cast room here and I also don't have the ability to roll cast because I'm not using a fly line, I have this mono rig. 
So I have the streamers out with about five to six feet of line. The streamers are rocking back and forth. On the back side, when the rod's loaded on the back side, I can just come forward and shoot all that line. Everything goes out. Strip it back in, show you again. Bring it in, got about five, six feet of line dangling. You can rock it back and forth. Whenever it's loaded on the back end, shoot it out. Now, in reality, you don't have to let it pendulum back and forth multiple times. You can just come in, it rocks back, and then we go. You do this pretty far once you get used to it, and the pendulum cast really solves a lot of problems. So that's casting streamers on the mono rig. Next time, we'll dig into some of the unique presentations available with this system. There's a lot of supporting material on troutbitten.com. You can go up to the menu, find streamers. Uh, please like this video and subscribe to the Trout Bitten channel so you don't miss the next thing. Hope that helps. Enjoy the day.